your eyewitness weather forecast. Good evening, meteorologist Dan Maslowski here with your check in on the weather. We're looking at a time lapse of downtown Utica throughout the day today. We started off with temperatures in the lower 60s, very mild, and we managed to get into the lower 80s during the afternoon hours with a mix of clouds and sunshine throughout the day. Now, for current conditions, we're sitting at 79 degrees, and we have those winds out of the south at 10 miles per hour, and those dew points in the upper 50s, so starting to feel a little muggy out there. And for a low temperature tonight in the 60s across the board, 60 there in Old Ford. 62 in Utica and 64 in Ilion. So a little too warm in my opinion to open up the window before you head to bed. Now for our high temperatures tomorrow in the 70s for most, a little cooler in the North Country there at 69 degrees, 76 in Utica, 77 in Ilion, 74 in Cooperstown as well as Oneonta. And tomorrow is also Don't Friday. This is the Friday before Memorial Day and this was created by the EPA or Environmental Protection Agency. So what should you do? Well, they say you should slip, slop, slap and wrap. I feel like I should shouldn't really be saying that on air. I might get in trouble for that, but you want to slip on a shirt, slop on that sunscreen, slap on a hat, and wrap on some sunglasses so that you are protecting yourself from those harmful UV rays. Now, you might not need the sunscreen for tomorrow because we do have some rain showers. We'll time it all out for you in the future cast. So on tonight, we'll have mainly cloudy skies with some rain showers moving in late tonight as we head into tomorrow morning. By the afternoon hours, we do have a chance to see some thunderstorms here as you can see a future cast picking up on those orange and those yellow colors meaning really heavy rainfall moving through. And then that'll continue and persist throughout the night into early Saturday morning. Though by the afternoon hours, we're already going to start to see the system moving off to the northeast. We'll be dry and sunny as we head into Saturday evening. Now, because of that risk to see some thunderstorms, we're at a level one out of five risk for severe weather, so a marginal risk, which means we could see damaging winds, small hail, as well as those heavy rain showers. Now to recap for tonight, we'll have cloudy skies with those, slap, with those showers moving in late. Winds out of the southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and those low temperatures in the lower 60s, so very mild. And as we head into tomorrow, those showers and thunderstorms, winds out of the south, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and those high temperatures in the mid-70s. Now for the seven-day forecast, as we head into tomorrow night, low temperatures still in the 60s. And as we head into Saturday, we do have those morning showers, though it'll start to dry out by the afternoon, and we clear up just in time for the end of this weekend on Sunday. Mostly sunny skies there, with temperatures getting to the upper 70s. And that warming trend continues for the start of next week on Memorial Day. We'll have those temperatures getting to the mid and upper 80s, very hot and humid there, and that'll continue as we head into the middle of the week. We get into the lower 90s for Wednesday, though we'll finally have some relief with those really warm temperatures. As we head into Thursday, we have some scattered rain showers there. That'll knock our temperatures back down into the mid-70s. Jamie? Thanks, Dan. You mentioned that it may be too warm this evening to have the windows open before you go to bed. You'd recommend air conditioners, fans instead? Yeah, definitely having the AC on. And a good little tip here is if you suffer from allergies, if you have the AC on, that could actually filter out the air. So right. it'll make you feel more comfortable and hopefully relieve some of those allergy symptoms. Yeah, high pollen count still. Yeah, unfortunately, though, as we head into tomorrow, with those rain showers and thunderstorms, we're finally going to see that pollen getting washed out of the so air. There's the plus side of the rain. Yep, <laughs> definitely there. Thanks, Dan. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight on News.